Hello friends this is Gunjan Sharma back again with a new episode of Yoga a Deep Communion. Today we're going to talk about Paschimottanasana. Paschimottanasana is a classic yoga pose mentioned in hatha yoga practices. The word Paschimottanasana is composed of three Sanskrit words Paschima which means west or the back of the body, Uttana means an intense stretch and Asana which means pose. In English it is also called the seated forward bend or intense dorsal stretch. Paschimottanasana completely stretches the back muscles and helps the practitioner to get a very flexible body. As the back muscles are a bit stiff in most adults, yoga enthusiasts need to practice and learn to do the pose over a while. The Paschimottanasana yoga pose is performed in a sitting position with the hands touching the toes and then bending forward in a way that the head lies between the legs the head may not reach the legs in the earlier attempts but that's fine the body will gradually gain the flexibility to do with that with regular practice so it is advised to bend only to the extent of one's ability in the initial stages the procedure to do paschimottanasana yoga pose start by sitting on the floor in dandasana or the staff pose with your legs stretched straight in front of your body or on your thighs raise your hands above your head now inhale while keeping your spine up and straight as you exhale slowly bend forward towards your toes as much as your body permits remain in this pose for a few seconds and breathe normally and slowly to release from this position raise your head and slowly come back to the initial starting position with the legs stretched one can also perform this asana by lying down on the floor with the hands stretched behind the head as the initial position after rising from this position one can repeat the rest of the paschimottanasana steps after the paschimottanasana is complete it is advisable to perform any asana that involves bending backward as a counter stretch Here are the common mistakes which should be avoided. While performing the Paschimottanasana, make sure that your knees are aligned and not turned outwards. Or else it would reduce the stretch of your hamstrings and the stress will instead fall closer to the joints. Throughout the procedure, the back must remain straight. This helps you to take full breaths. Contraindications and precautions. Although everybody should practice yoga to maintain health and well-being, certain poses are not for everyone. Here are a few points to consider before you practice Paschimottanasana. It is best to get started with this asana under the guidance of a certified yoga instructor. Initially, it is difficult to bend yourself fully. That comes with practice. Don't force yourself into the pose and do what is possible without pain. Your abdomen is compressed during this pose so it shouldn't be done on a full stomach. Pregnant women can practice this asana but with their legs separated to avoid stress on the navel area and the fetus. They must instead expand the chest upwards. This pose must be avoided if you have injured arms, shoulders, hips or ankles. Avoid this asana if you have asthma or diarrhea as well. In case you have herniated vertebral disc it is recommended to practice the asana without bending forward completely if you have hamstring injuries you can practice this asana by bending your knees instead of keeping your legs straight here are the benefits of paschimottanasana this pose stretches the back muscles right from the ankles to the head as it contracts the anterior part of the body The resulting pressure impacts the abdomen and thorax which aids in enhancing the respiratory system of the body. Moreover, the asana also ensures that the intra-abdominal glands functions well, improves blood circulation in the back and tones up the body and spinal cord, stimulates the kundalini, spiritual energies at the base of the spine, helps in soothing the mind and offer relief from stress, anxiety and depression. good for kidneys liver uterus and ovaries avulates problems like insomnia high blood pressure reduces body fatigue improves appetite digestion and reduces obesity offers relief from menopause and menstrual discomfort so friends this was all about paschimottanasana 
So I hope this information will be beneficial to you all. This is Gunjan Sharma signing off. Thank you. Have a great day.